Hello everyone. Recently, uh, the European Union became the first organization in the world to legislate some acts to regulate the cryptocurrencies or crypto assets. So very important thing for your prelims, regulation of cryptocurrencies but the, by the European Union. Now how this is going to be advantageous over United Kingdoms, over USA because USA United Kingdoms are the countries which are competing with European Union as a result being the first one in the world to have a cryptocurrency regulation this will give some advantages for the European Union countries compared to its counterparts that is UK and USA in this thing let's look at what is this cryptocurrency legislation and what are the important things that you have to remember so the European Union's new crypto legislation first thing it is the world's first set of comprehensive rules to largely unregulated cryptocurrencies and these rules are known as market in cryptocurrency assets mica rules market in cryptocurrency assets so it was passed by european parliament what is european parliament it is the legislative body for all the european union member countries who are there in that 27 so once all these 27 countries individually pass this legislation this legislation comes into effect now what are the advantages of this in order to harmonize the crypto industry and to ensure that there is some growth prospects for EU, European Union compared to USA and UK. These are the two things. Now why it has evaluated this or why it has come up with this? Because recently there has been some failures and wipeouts in the cryptocurrency industry because cryptocurrencies are facing some bankruptcies, some scandals and collapses of crypto foreign exchange trading. As a result, all these cryptocurrencies like Terra Luna, Binance, all these are facing some problems as a result the crypto industry is down. Now what European Union is thinking is by regulating a legislation and by ensuring proper norms, this uh, problems of cryptocurrencies or crypto industry can be overcome thereby having some mutual advantage. Now what exactly this Mika speaks about? Mika law will apply to cryptocurrency assets. Now what is a cryptocurrency asset as per this law? It is a digital representation of any value or right that uses cryptography for security and is a form of a coin that can be used in digital representation. So just remember they are digital representations of values or rights that may be either in the form of coins or it may be in the form of tokens and they are stored electronically using distributed ledger system or similar technology. Now, so this includes all the cryptocurrencies which are in use. However, it will not include the following. It will not regulate the assets which are traded electronically in the form of shares because share market is separate. So this is not going to come here. And most importantly, it is not going to include non-fungible tokens, NFT, previous year previous question, non-fungible tokens. It will not regulate digital currencies. It will not regulate the digital assets which is maintained by uh, the European Central Bank. These are the things that are kept out. One is share market uh, shares. Second one is non-fungible tokens. Third one is central bank's digital currency because they are already regulated. The fourth one is uh, the digital assets in, issued by individual countries in European Union. Hence, these things will be applicable for the rest of the things here. Now, what is the advantage? The advantage of having this is already I said it is going to capture the market for this that is why it is relevant. Now in this context apart from that prelims question of cryptocurrencies Mika you have how cryptocurrencies are regulated in India. It has to be noted that there is no comprehensive law in India to regulate cryptocurrencies. However in the budget 2022 finance minister Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman has started taxing 30% on trading of virtual digital assets. So this is one thing that India has done. The third one is recently involving in virtual digital asset trading is bought under the purview of PMLA Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Hence we do not have comprehensive law. We are trying to bring them under taxation and we are trying to avoid cryptocurrency trading and the fourth one is it was bought under M Prevention of Money Laundering Act. This is the legislation that has happened in the European Union and this is the relevance of that in Indian terms or how India is 
uh, regulating it. These are the things that you should know about it. Thank you.